वेलकम बैक एस प्योडा कैस जस्ट एडेड एफ एस आर थ्री फेम जनरेशन सपोर्ट टू इंडियाना जोन्स द ग्रेट सर्कल नॉ इन द लास्ट गेम अपडेट द डेवलपर्स डेट मैंशन अबाउट एडिंग एफ एस आर थ्री टू द गेम जस्ट कीप दिस इन माइंड बिफोर परचेजिंग दिस मॉट यू नीड टू सब्सक्राइब टू प्योडा पेट्रियॉन इन ऑर टू गेन एक्सेस टू दियर डिस्काउट सर्वर विद द मॉट फाइल इज प्रेजेंट दियर मंथली सब्सक्रिप्शन कॉस्ट अराउंड फाइव यू एस डॉलर दिस मॉट इज कम्पेटेबल विद बोथ स्टीम एंड पी सी गेम पास वर्शन ऑफ द गेम I was able to get the mod working on an Nvidia and an AMD based GPU. Should work even on an Intel based GPU. In this video, I'll be testing the mod on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. We'll be using the Build 02 available on the Discord server. They have provided the installation instructions. I'll quickly go through them. Change log. The mod is now working on Steam Deck. It's compatible with Game Pass version. Setup process. Just need to launch the game and set it to borderless or windowed mode, and set the resolution to match our desktop's resolution. We need to tweak one setting if we are using the mod on a handheld device. Just need to open the mods folder, then open this INI file, ICGC upscaler, and set M compatibility mode to true. Not required if we are using the mod on a desktop PC. Launch the game and enable TLSS upscaler and frame generation setting. Now, when you enable these settings for the first time. Display will go completely black. You will observe some graphical artifacts. In order to fix this issue, you just need to authenticate the mod. The process is fairly simple. Just press the end keyboard key to open the mod menu. Here you will see a big authenticate button. Just need to click on it. In order to get the mouse cursor working with the mod menu, just need to press the tilde key. This key is present right below the escape key. It will also open the game's console. After pressing the authenticate button, browser will open up. Patreon will ask for your permission. Just click on Allow. Then you will see this message: Successful. Now you can return to the game. Default hotkey for toggling frame generation is Keyboard Star. This can be changed from the icgcfskiller.ini file. Extra notes for Steam Deck: Just need to add this Launch option. In order to get the mod working, run the game with the mod in desktop mode first. Do the authentication process. Then you can go back to the gaming mode. Okay, I'll just download the build now. Click on this blue link. First, I'll show you the base performance. It's not recommended to enable or disable frame generation setting with the mod installed. It can cause the game to crash. Before jumping into the gameplay, just wanted to thank Xbox and Keymailer for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass. This subscription gives us access to hundreds of games. We can play these games for as long as we want until a subscription expires. Games from first-party Microsoft Studios and even third-party studios are included. Even EA Play membership is included. We also get a small discount on some games being sold on Microsoft Store in India. Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. Play. Haven't installed the mod yet. In game settings, display mode set to borderless window. Resolution full HD. FPS limit 1000. Motion blur and chromatic aberration disabled. Frame gain set to nil. Depth of field and anti-aliasing enabled. Low to medium settings. View settings set to high. This game consumes a lot of VRAM. You already know about this. Look at that VRAM usage: seven point eight GB. And after enable frame generation, it will further increase the VRAM usage. Upscaling set to DLSS quality. No access to frame generation, of course. It's only available for RTX forty series GPUs. That's it. I'll be testing the game in the city of Vatican. Very demanding area. You can see the CPU usage for the individual cores, 70 to 80 percent. Hitting the GPU bottleneck here. <laughs> VRAM usage is around 7.8 GB. But I'm not observing any hitching. This game does not suffer from traverse stutters. It's just that a few hitches occur whenever we activate a checkpoint, just like this. You can see Indy's hat in the top right corner, indicating that I activated a checkpoint, and there was a Small spike in the frame pacing graph. I'll activate another checkpoint. So FPS is around 90, 90 to 100 without frame generation. Out of non-playable character. I activated a checkpoint and there was a spike. Now I'll install Pure Dark Mod. 84 to 100 FPS without frame generation. Just open the mod zip file. Copy all of the files and folders present inside this zip file. Just need to paste them in the games install directory. Open Xbox PC app. Select the game in your Xbox library. Click on the three dots here. Click on Manage. Then click on Files. Then click on Browse. 
This is the games install directory. This is the games install folder. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle directory will be different for the Steam version of the game. Install directory for the Steam version of the game has been mentioned by Pure Dark on their Discord server. Just open content folder. There is the game's exe file. This is where you need to paste the mod files. The great circle.exe replace already present in my case. Mod has been installed. The process is that simple. If you have an RTX based GPU, just enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling. Go to the desktop, right click, click on display settings, then click on graphics, then click on change default graphics setting. From here, enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. AMD GPU owners can enable VSync from internal in software. Just click on manage 3D settings here. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. There it is. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync. Click on apply. My monitor supports VSync Premium. It's G-Sync compatible. Click on setup G-Sync here. Enable these settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. Click on apply. We're ready to run the game. With the mod enabled, afterburner overlay is going to flicker. So I'll be using NVIDIA's overlay. Just close afterburner. Press Alt plus R keys. In game settings, using the same settings as before, just enable DLSS subscaler and frame generation setting. As mentioned earlier, when you enable these settings for the first time, display will go completely black. Just need to authenticate the mod. Press the end keyboard key. Here you'll see the authenticate button. I have already authenticated the mod. So I have access to the mods settings. Unable to use the cursor with the mod menu. So just need to press the tilde key. Games console will open up. Yeah, now I can access the mod menu. From this drop down bar, I can change the upscaler. I'll switch to TLSS. Change its preset from here. Entirely up to you. Just make sure enable frame generation and hard fix settings are checked. Very important. That's about it. Let's play the game. Look at the same sequence. We're in the city of Vatican. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. FPS increased to around 130. Before enabling frame generation, we were getting around 90 to 100 FPS here. Games hard elements are not flickering. Yeah, subtitles are also not flickering. Input delay is not a problem. After this, I'll be testing the game on my raw ally. An AMD based GPU, Radeon 780M. Not observing any graphical artifacts. Shadow is ended properly. I'll just engage in combat now. Yeah, I alerted everyone. They are coming after me. Oh my god. Still getting around 130. Can't beat everyone. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.